Hello everybody and welcome back to XCOM Enemy Within Iron Man Impossible. Uh, we're playing one last game tonight. So we're going to go ahead and jump right into it. But we do have an option of uh, waiting for that genetics lab to finish before the alien abductions happen, but I've been burned before trying to do that thing where I basically just let the uh, timer tick down. Um, yeah, grabbing the engineer's an idiot. Cool. Alright, so our assault promoted to corporal. We're obviously gonna do just fine. We have three available squaddies, including a new one, a support. Supports get white armor. There we go. And uh yeah, I think we're ready to go. Should be good. The oh, area of engagement for this mission will be in India. A mission called Devil's Local Gun government War. forces have reported a coordinated alien attack in a densely populated neighborhood. They're counting on us to secure the area. Alright. This is an interesting looking map. There are some big issues with the terrain here. I think I looked at the meld tutorial and this is where that mission was actually held, so that's interesting. Solid copy, Big Sky. Strike one is cleared to engage. Looks like it's a pizza parlor. And we can already see some problems with it. Uh, we have lots of hardcover available, but it's fairly far away. I think probably my best move is to push up to this hardcover here. And hope I don't trigger anything. This map looks really small, so I do have to worry about that. It's got a lot of similarity to the Burger King, but it's a little better designed. Bien. So pushing forward, we can see inside the Burger King, or the pizza parlor, and uh, yeah, it's a little more open, a little better designed here, so that's all looking good. Okay. Since this is impossible, we don't want to move, well actually, once again, the meld canisters are going to force us to explore a little more. Um, I can see one over there, which means that I want to start moving on that pretty quick here. And I think getting moving the heavy in position to do that is probably my best option. You know, I don't think I'm going to trigger any aliens by That's dash what here. we're looking for. Yeah. Cool. So once again, not playing it safe with the uh, stuff going on there. Let's just get up against this wall and put these guys on watch. Alright. We've got a whole six turns to get to that meld canister, which we want to do. Um, looks like there's absolutely no available cover along this side of the building, so we're going to have to be pretty careful. But. This is still the best option. And... Uh, no, I just don't want to risk pushing out any further here. Where's that other milk caster going to be at? It's not in that direction. It could be in the back alley somewhere. Or it could be on the roof. We need to check the roof anyways, just to make sure that no aliens drop down on us. So let's push Heading the support there up there. Hello. Got a visual. New friends. Okay. There are actually some bad things about this, but this aye, will be concealed when it gets all of those aliens, so they won't be able to see or shoot me. We can push up against this wall. Uh, 
Yeah, my Cypher's not going to be able to do much here. I actually might need to continue to push up against the wall here as well. Okay. And, uh... Oh, I left this soldier in Overwatch. I should not have overwatched him that early. Obviously you want to leave all of your moves open for in case you discover aliens. Now they might have a really nice flank shot on me. Okay, looks like he's dived down. <laughs> My assault blew a rather sizable hole in the wall. Taking a look at him, but uh... Can I get okay? So if I get this far in, I'll still have the half cover, which I don't actually care about. But I'll also be able to just wreck this guy. Oh, I was really hoping I'd be able to kill him, or at least damage him. But I think I'm only going to be able to destroy his cover, which is fine. His phone booth gone. Our best shot is to just murder him. Straight up, come on, take it. Oh, that was not a shot I wanted to miss. So things are gonna get pretty bad for me now. What? Oh, he's doing a mind bow. That's a really bad idea. This is also a really bad idea, but if you but this is still a shot. Oh, dear God. What? Well, that, that wasn't good or anything. Of course. Um, yeah. So, about that. Alright. One alien down. I mean, a 35% chance to hit is basically not anything great, but at this point I'm not sure I have a better option. <laughs> This is going to go south really, really fast. <laughs> My assault's not dead yet. She is still insanely lucky. 
Somehow that half cover is working for her. I... What? This is a thing that's happening. Are you flanked now, Assault Trooper? Uh, uh, uh. I... Oh, seriously? <laughs> what? 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 Okay. That was a turn that happened. Um. I have never seen so many aliens take a shot at a single target before. That was frankly unheard of, and uh, now I don't know what to do. I'm... I mean, I have some... I, I can't quite get into a position to shoot this thing down, which is what I really need to do if I want to get anywhere in this particular map now. Oh, I can just drop Heading down there now. and blow his head off. Okay, that'll work. I'm gonna go ahead and pop the door, and, uh, yeah, that looks good. Okay, With that done, um, I'm gonna move the watch here, it's just fine. <laughs> Rush for the meld container! I am not gonna get the meld this round, this, that's just not going to happen. Um, I think what I want to do is... Get behind some serious cover. Probably over here. Yeah, this door here should be decent enough defense. And uh, force the aliens to start stepping forward into some more ridiculous areas. Ooh! Yes! Another one down. That's good. Stuff is oh what? 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 No, 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 bad, no. Alright, Coleman's been killed. Poor Coleman. We're all really sad about that. I can I can see the other bit of metal, but obviously I don't want it. Um let's just let's just do this thing here. Yeah, this is this is obviously going to work, so. One less. Adios. Um. So now I have some tricky problems here. Oh wow, this is still providing hard cover. That's nice. That's really nice. Um, I think what I want to do is Copy that. get out, take a look over there. All right. If the aliens aren't actually gonna be around that corner We're this green turn, to go. I think it's okay to reload. The correct choice, but gosh, it kind of felt like it. Um, man, what's this sniper doing? Is he just guarding the area? I mean, he's not gonna get. Ooh, wait, that billboard there. That billboard there. That billboard there is something that we want to get behind. Um, so let's get up on the roof. Time to have a snapshot sniper, but I'll, I'll live with what I got. Okay, so I didn't trigger any aliens here. That's that's good news. Um, this half cover is obviously no good. I want to start doing is peeking around here. A la orden, comandante. Lista para atacar. 
but I really just need all of my guns. see here. We can push even further down. Get up onto the roof if we need to. I think getting behind this thing is probably our best amount. Now this, this should work. As long as the aliens don't jump up on the roof, which they have not really been known to do. That's... Okay, that's, that's the guy who's at the bottom there. So we lost one camel, and the other one's obviously pretty out. Oh. Alright, we have a visible enemy. He's not taking anything for damage. Okay, and they're all grouping up in there. Oh! <laughs> um, uh, um. Well, that was some damage that we just took. Okay. I don't know, I guess grab the can of meld? That actually seems like a pretty good plan. <laughs> Yeah, in addition to actually getting me some decent flank shots, that, you know, certainly exposes these guys pretty badly. Come on, die, die. Yes! Alright, two more sectoids down. And if I get right over here. Even more flank shots available, which is what I want. I don't actually want to take them, but I do want to force those aliens to stand still. Or maybe they won't. Perhaps they've uh, fixed that particular bug in their AI. <laughs> which, you know, don't. Yeah. <laughs> I, I guess I kind of stopped thinking about it as a bug, but uh, no, yeah, okay, fair enough. Aliens gonna find cover if they can. And this is gonna suck. Oh god, really? Okay. <laughs> the panic shots for evac are actually pretty nice. Um, okay, so we know there's an alien over there who can flank us at any time. What do we want to do? Getting back into concealment is not a terrible plan, especially since now that we can see where they're at, we might be able to take them by surprise. Recibido, oh, señor. That. Yeah, that looks good. Hunker down. My sniper has the opportunity to do something useful now, which is good. He doesn't actually have to really move or anything to do it. He's just gonna throw out a grenade and that'll be that. Make sure we can capture the maximum possible area. I don't think I can hit anybody else, but. Alright, that's another dead alien on the field. And it looks like they're not feeling like kicking down any more doors today, so. As long as they're not really aware of where I am, really my shotgun is not a terrible Okay, so I can see an alien there. And I think I can get to that alien. Um, what I want to be careful of is overwatches. But... Estoy en marcha. Both of the aliens that are capable of actually being a threat in the same spot. 
Oh shoot, there is half cover there though. Eh, let's give it a shot. Hello aliens. You're the mind melder. Take some bullets. Alright, I gotta... Oh, that plus five def defense from cover. That's, that's part of why I'm having so much luck with these particular aliens. Um, so, the next call is actually going to be a tricky one. I don't know where those last aliens are, and I really don't want to deal with them right now. Um, I think I need to push this way. Just to move in. Intentan retirarse. And now he's running away. And that's what we want to hear. Um, let's see here. Can we do anything with that? Not this turn we can, but as long as we're careful. Heads out. See him. Uh, but he can get into a position to shoot at us this turn, so we actually need to back off to somewhere else. Um, this one's Continue to set up overwatches. No sign of him. That's no good. We really need to be able to see that alien. Um, okay, it's here. Ah! There he is. Oh, there's one of them. I have a 100% chance of dealing two damage, which is not really very good. We're gonna try that Overwatch bug one more time and see if it causes him to. Nope! Nope, he's, he's definitely gonna move. I am not digging that that's a feature of the map. Okay, um... So was that the alien? I think it was. I think that was the guy I was looking for in here. Yep, no, I definitely just cleared this spot now. Um... Crawled into the truck. He can't shoot out of the truck at me unless he walks <laughs> into an Overwatch, and I think that's my best chance of killing him, honestly. Yep, there we go. He hops out and take a reaction shot. Oh, oh, you poor, poor bastard. Okay. Dixon might be in trouble now. Okay. Um, well, that's not quite luck, but it's good for us. Let's see here. What's, what's the chance? 73% chance. I think that's worth taking. Alright, the action cam shows that it was in fact worth taking, and line up over here. It's run and gun off? Like, we're actually going to survive this mission, which, uh, we're gonna survive this mission with a can of metal, even. That's... that's unexpected. I, I, I was not expecting to live through this mission. I think it's time to back up and reload this sniper rifle. There's settings inside. Alright. I 
really don't want to take cover behind that gas tank, but it might be my only option. I can't. Is there any other hardcover available? No. I don't know exactly where that alien is. And I have to be very, very careful about how I approach this. I don't want to just jaunt down behind hard cover, but at the same time, that alien is almost certainly in Overwatch, so I can't push over here. Um, I can find the car around to that cover. Oh, wait, yeah, no, this is our cover duck around behind concealment, push up to this, and then go around the truck that way. Hey, Marta! And this guy will cover our flight. <laughs> A battle scanner would be nice right now. Shh, me now the indicating exactly where hey, Marta. that alien is, so we're okay. Hey, Marta! Commander. All right, and now we just want to hunt her down. Oh, is this so? An alien hasn't moved from the spot that he took, which is. And I need to know if I to take my flag. Michelle, there he is. Seventy three percent chance is good enough. Right. Another day, down. another oh, successful operation. Really? That that really happened, did it? Um, okay. Yeah. Twelve aliens down, can of metal. Feeling pretty good. Everything feels pretty good. That uh that was that was a complete slaughterhouse. Oh, and there was we something survived. we could have done. Some Thanks aspect of our research that we perhaps overlooked. Oh goddamn werewolf Hernandez. Oh, you, madam, are absolutely astounding, and you're going to be pretty much my primary soldier. The International Service Cross has now been unlocked, and goddamn it, you didn't earn it. Um, looks like the Diggin' Didn't Friggin' Die is also available. Can I? Can I? Scrap that metal from the dead heavy? Remember, we will be watching. Or was that just like a second one that got awarded to me? Alright, well, yeah, anyways. Uh, yeah, so this, this, this definitely goes to you. Um, power's already assigned, never panic as a result, yeah. Madame Hernandez. And the International Service Cross, I believe, is also going to be yours. Plus two will for different nationality on the squad. Plus two aim for continent bonus XCOM is earned. Will is nice, but aim is better. And uh, even though it's only a plus two bonus, that's still something that we're definitely going to want. 
Um, I mean, yeah, we got the didn't friggin' die award already. Uh, this is gonna be our sniper medal, so we're gonna pin it on snipers pretty often. <laughs> Let's see here. Just award that <laughs> to Mr. Dixon. <sighs> All right. Hey, he's actually got the stance right. Ah. Okay. So. The new engineers yeah. arrived this morning, Commander. We got our engineers. We're always glad to have more help down here. I believe, unless something has changed, satellite uplinks take. Zoom down and find out if this. I'm going to take a film of this. I love how incredibly difficult it is to determine that kind of information. You'd think that they would have made that improvement in the UI by now, but no, it should be 14 days. So, anyways. Um, not going to build a satellite uplink just yet. So is Mexico, so it looks like the United States is probably going to be out of the uh, game. Unless we decide to save them. And here's our meltdown. So now we're going to see what we can do with that. Commander, the genetics lab is now prepped and fully stocked. We can begin genetic modification of our soldiers on your order. This facility will be the nerve center of our genetic modification program. Our soldiers will receive entirely new capabilities, making them more effective on the battlefield than ever before. As we improve our understanding of alien genetics, the range of available modifications will expand. It looks like adapted bone marrow is definitely going to be a thing for our assault. We also have some interesting aim options. 15 mil and 30 dollars to put adaptive bone marrow into Miss Hernandez. So we'll definitely have to think about the that. The uh... substance has been enormously valuable in advancing our theories on genetic modification. So far, we've been limited to the augmentation of existing okay. human organs. Yeah, let's go ahead. Keep on trucking. Activation complete. Looks like our satellites are going to Commander, come. our satellite is prepped and standing by for launch. Uh, we are ready to deploy it on your orders. Okay, so we have our satellite ready. We have two options. We can save Mexico for $50 or Australia for $60. Um, the United States has a pretty useful function, but if we can get the foundry bonuses, then yeah, I think we're going to want those. Let's go ahead and launch that. Satellite uplink facilities at maximum capacity. Also have Additional to transfer the ship required. over to Asia. And with the extra monies, we'll be able to build our officer training school. Although it might be a little bit. Not enough for the officer training school, really. So let's go ahead and scan. Incoming transmission. Hello, Commander. Yep. Much to our Obviously regret, we're lose three countries. a number of council members have recently withdrawn but, uh, their support. Apart from that, everything's good. This does not bode well for XCOM, Commander. These recent departures from the council are of serious concern. An You've interesting an thing here is that I... Combating yes, the alien thank you. Over the course of this past Were month, you Commander. not part However, of the VO tanks? However, we still believe there is yeah. room for improvement in you're, your efforts. You're certainly talking some. We will be in touch, Commander. Okay. 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 Um, yeah. So, uh, notably I didn't have a council mission there. 
I think that might have something to do with the fact that I have both of those uh, special uh, DLC missions available. They may have actually decided to space them out and put them in positions where they're actually not um, quite as advantageous or insanely difficult. Um, the original one, uh, which was it called Operation Slingshot, was basically like if you you'd get it at the second, you'd get it all three of them by the end of the second month. And then you'd have access to blaster launchers, which are one of the more powerful rocket launchers in the game, and also the hardest thing in the world to get. Like, you just can't get them without doing Operation Slingshot, or doing some rather ridiculous nonsense that you don't want to do on Impossible. So, yeah, it was not very well spaced out, and it was really annoying because the two missions in the second month were really insanely hard and involved a lot of mutons and other stuff. So, hopefully they've just spaced it out a little bit more. That would work well, I think. We'll see. <laughs> On the other hand, that means I get less money, so, uh, and less panic reduction. Commander, we have multiple reports of new abductions in progress. The locations are marked on the hologlobe. Okay. So I was able to build the meld lab, which means I don't need scientists anymore. But, um, at the same time, I don't really need any of this either. Um, the $200 from Brazil would be very useful. So would a Sergeant Heavy. It's more a matter of which I want to cover. Like, let's see here. We know we're going to take Brazil and um, also uh, Argentina. Wait, is this Brazil? This is... Yeah, okay. So, we know we're going to take South America. That's, that's going to be a thing that happens. Um, it's definitely necessary to it, but I don't know if it's necessarily the one that we want to go for. I think instead we want to grab these scientists in uh, Africa, um, or the heavy in China. I don't really like digging for recruits, but I don't have the best troops available right now, and a good heavy would be a pretty solid replacement for the one that I just lost. On the other hand, 200 space bucks. Can't really say no to that. Alright, so yeah, join me next time when we finish off this uh, delightful choice and uh, decide which country we're going to invade. Have a good night, everyone.